so welcome to my youtube channel mm. so today i'm gonna tell you about uh, the basic authentication uh, how to implement uh, in swagger uh, in sv.net core 6.0 so here we have some security schemes for authentication uh, basic authentication uses http so i'm gonna implement by using http so what is basic authentication it is a simple authentication scheme which uses the http protocol to send the request to the server so to achieve this authentication user has to log into the application by using their credential by using their username and password after login it generates the base64 encoded string which is an encrypted code of your username and password and how it works uh, for example client send the request uh, uh, to the server with the authorization header and the header must contain the word basic with base64 encoded string if you have implemented uh, this into the code then this screen uh, you can show in the ui with one button name authorize and when you click on the button it will show that form so to achieve this we have to configure the add swagger generation method which have uh, some predicate methods we need to configure add security definition and add security requirement so here is the code which we need to do in our application so let's move to the coding part In my previous video, I have implemented the basic implementation of Swagger in ASP.NET 6.0. So all this code is related to that. I have a method. I have already injected the add Swagger generation into the services. Let's configure it for authorization and authentication to prevent the unauthorized access to our API endpoints. That has some method like uh, execute definition where we define the uh, security parameters like name id type and scheme and description as well and the other method we have is the add security requirement where we define the requirements uh, for our Swagger authentication uh, like uh, we are using HTTP
we are using security scheme and in the id we are using basic authentication with http so as add circuit generation method is configured as we are using http protocol so we have to create one basic handler class and uh, inject it to the services i have already created uh, the basic handler class in my project and also implemented uh, the logic to validate the user credential inside uh, handler class uh, it is nothing just we validate the user credentials uh, by checking it whether they are matching with the database or uh, database username and password or not if it is not if it they are invalid then we return the exception and i uh, will not allow to uh, fetch the information from the api endpoint so here is the basic uh, handler class We are getting the uh, from the header. We are getting the username and password. And here I have commented out some code. Uh, with I am checking out if the username and password is not valid, then return the exception that uh, user credentials are not valid. Otherwise, uh, save it to the claims and successfully return the token string so our coding part is done but one more thing which is more important and we need to uh, configure our application by you with the use authentication and authorization Let's make our controller protected. Add the authorized keyword into top of the or top of our controller, so nobody can access this endpoint without entering his username and password. So our code is ready. Let's run this. So 
so our circuit is ready and we have a button uh, with the authorized here is the form uh, which asks for the username and password so before entering the username and password let's check our api whether we are getting the result or not you can see it here as well it is protected now so you can see we have an error of 401 which is unauthorized so it won't allow me to fetch the result because it is my api endpoint is protected now so let's enter the username and password test authorize and close let's try it again execute and now we have a 200 response and they had written that list of students so our swagger is working fine So here is the code which we configure into our services and application to achieve this. If you find this helpful, then please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.